turn down the volume a little bit. That's actually a little bit loud. Hang on a second. All right, that should be better. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're back. When last we left our intrepid heroes, I have received one badge. Uh, where's my badges? Here they are. I have the coal badge from Orberg. We're moving on to Eterna City. Uh, I don't, it's been a couple weeks. I don't really remember what direction we're going. Oh, we're in Floroma Town, and we got to do the stuff here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so the stuff I planted is here. I totally forgot that I need to come back and check these, even if I'm not streaming. But I will continue planting some orins because orins are important. Actually, let me plant a chesto since I only have one chesto. And I'll plant a cherry too. Cherries are also important. I mean, if you if you're really good about doing berries in Diamond and Pearl and all the other games where you can do berries, you don't ever have to buy item healers uh, for statuses uh, because you can just farm literally farm them up I don't think I can actually do anything here, here yet I think I actually need to go to Eterna City first uh, but I do know that I can uh, once I get some honey I can come back here and actually like do a catch in this town uh, like in the fields behind the town so that's something for me to look forward to. And now we're on Route 205, uh, which I believe I haven't... Uh, I, have, I haven't been on this route yet, so we can definitely get a new catch here. <coughs> Chesto berries and Pecha berries. I'm going to plant a Pecha and an Orin here. Oh yeah, can't I get a free berry just by visiting the people over at the... Uh, berry shop. I should do that. Oh, I forgot to notify people on my Discord that I was going live. So let me uh, let me do that real quick. I got my Discord over on my other monitor so that uh, <coughs> it doesn't take up the screen at all. I'm just still watering over there. Uh, like I was saying, I believe I can just walk back into the berry shop and just get another free berry, I think. I think that's what happens here if you do that. Yeah, I was right. So I got an ass bear berry from doing that. And I believe she gives you one free berry every day, which is nice of her. Alright. Who are you? Can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so Valley Windworks is also a different route, so I can also get a fresh catch here. On the outside of Valley Windworks. Alternatively, I could rub honey on this tree and uh, get whatever Pokemon would come out of that, too. But they're almost all bug Pokemon, and bug Pokemon are terrible. Don't get me wrong, I, I like bug Pokemon. I think they're cool, but they're not very strong. Ah, now this is actually interesting. A Bweasel, so I can get myself a water type. I don't believe I have any besides my Magikarp, so that's handy. Uh, us, let's see. Move me look is the you can't escape, right? Yes. Now, I don't think Bweasel has anything that does that, but still. Hey, Monty. Nice to see you, my friend. Welcome aboard the channel. Good to see you. I saw you followed me a little while ago, so thanks for popping on after, uh, after following. That's really cool. All right, so this will be our catch for the Valley Windworks. Works. 
And so it is. Great. It means I don't have to have Magikarp in my party. Um, I will keep Magikarp in my party for a while, though. <clears throat> so, we got a Bleasel. Um, do I want him to put him in my party? No, I'll keep Magikarp in my party. I would like to get an early uh, Gyarados. That would be pretty handy. You got weird hours at work, so you miss many streams. Yeah, I know how that is. All right, you fucking goober, let's go. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then, you'll have to battle me for it. All right, that shouldn't be much trouble. <clears throat> He's got a Glammeow, okay. I think Glammeow is just plain normal in this edition. Alright, Zubat's not going to be able to do anything here. He doesn't have the right type advantage. Now, Machop, on the other hand, is an entirely different story. One hit KO. <laughs> Good job, Machop. What do you think of the post-war Pokemon fan theory? Uh, it's. I think it's just a fan theory. I think uh, everyone always tries to think of ways to make games that are not especially dark and gritty darker and grittier for no apparent purpose. It doesn't have to be dark and gritty. I don't think. Isn't that just great, getting owned by some kid? But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key is not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. And it's locked. Now we have to go back to Florama Town. Am I even allowed to go over here? No, I'm not allowed to go on a Route 205 to do a catch. All right, so let's go ahead and pop back into the Pokemon Center and heal up. No reason not to. Oh, I was just thinking, uh, Gardenia is going to have a really bad time because I've got a Zubat and I've got the Staravia and I've got a, uh, well, those are the big ones that are going to give her trouble, but, um, yeah, those are the only ones. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw Luxio and thought it was going to be trouble for the grass gym leader. I'm an idiot. Pay no attention to me. All right, let's check out the flower area. I don't remember if I can even do catches here. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. What are you nerds doing? <clears throat> hey, this kid's a witness. What'll we do? We can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Okay. Well, you brought this on yourselves. Oh, and it's not even a double battle? I'm disappointed. Okay, this thing is definitely weak enough for Wurmple to win on it. Kind of 50-50 on it. Japan has a lot of cultural detritus from generations of media they draw from. It's not that the devs intended for it, but it definitely exhibits peculiar facets in the tone and presentation. Well, that's true. I mean, there's, there's the fact that everything is a battle, right? So you can't avoid that. Um, 
And there's you have some references to the war, like the classic one is uh, Lieutenant Surge in Red and Blue, uh, who was a member of the military. Obviously, it was like lieutenant, right? So it's referring to some sort of battle, some sort of war, but it's never well defined exactly what that is. And it's uh, sort of left up to the fans to sort of put all that together. All right, well, <clears throat> time for this to go very slowly. Okay, if that's what you're doing, I'm just going to do Absorb instead because that's a special move, even though it's not very effective. And just use this thing to regenerate some health. It's only going to do one damage at a time, but... Eh, you know, I'm not in any hurry. It just, uh, the thing is, is that it doesn't make for, uh, doesn't make for very interesting video. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when Zubat gets to max health, I'll go ahead and, uh, swap out Pokemon here. It's just gonna take a little while. I wonder if I can up the battle speed at all. <clears throat> Let's see, is that, a, is that an option that I have? Let me see here. Uh, no, I can't change any of the settings while I'm in a battle. Okay, that's fine. realized I forgot to put the link over on the Discord. Let me do that. There we go. There we go. Now everybody on my Discord has the link. Let's see if anybody shows up. It'd be nice if they did, but I assume that everybody's got plans on Friday night. People usually do. I don't. <laughs> Uh, my normal tabletop game is not happening tonight, so, uh, I got some other time to spend, and so I decided to spend it streaming a little bit. It's been a little while since I picked up on this game, too, so, it's, uh, not a problem for me to just work on it a little bit. Get another few hours ready to go to YouTube. Good job, Zubat, you're almost there. <laughs> just five more turns, Zubat. If my, uh, if my Magikarp had Tackle, this would be a great opportunity to get Magikarp some experience. But Magikarp's actually not high enough level to know a move yet, so... Very unfortunate on that account. Hey, good news, we've already got it under half health. Zubat's almost at max health, and I did say I would swap out Zubat once I get there. It does tell me that this guy caught his uh, Silcoon wild because it doesn't know anything but Harden. Alright. Zubat's got himself to max health now. So let's go ahead and put in uh, Staravia to get the finish here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Aha, your attack goes down. And even with maxed out defense, the thing still went down from one shot at that point with Staravia. And Zubat got a level up, that's great. Really needed it. <clears throat> this is why I'm gonna be stuck as a grunt forever. Down goes one nerd. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. 
Well, I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. See, this is why I made sure Zubat got to max health. <laughs> and what have you got? You also have a Zubat. Okay. Um, what level is your Zubat? I bet my Zubat can beat up your Zubat. Yep, my Zubat can definitely beat up your Zubat. Let's go. Because my Zubat goes first, the my Astonish is superior, and uh, I can't flinch from the Astonish because mine is going first. <coughs> I imagine it's kind of funny though with these uh, two eyeless Pokemon battling, just uh, astonishing each other somehow. It's not a, it's not precisely clear to me how that works. All right, one more of these will take care of business. Good thing Zubat's not planning on running away. All right, good shit, Zubat. My Zubat can totally beat up your Zubat. Abra levels up to 14. Staravia levels up to 15. Nice, nice. Well, I had some decent Pokemon. Hey, I just showed you what Zubat can do. Your Zubat just sucks. Or maybe you suck. This Brett's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. We're done now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oof. What's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Thanks, old guy. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. You take this as my thanks? You got honey. If you slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. There's a sweet-smelling tree out here, right? Yeah, sure is. Okay, so that means I can get a catch here. Now, let me make sure this counts as a different area. So I walk back here, it says Floroma Town. I walk back here, and it's Floroma Meadow. Cool. All right, so this is the only way to get a Pokemon here anyway, it seems like. And yes, I would like to buy some more honeys in case I decide I would like to catch more Pokemon uh, using this method. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and slather this tree. We'll be sure to come back to this and see if there's a Pokemon in it. What's in this house? Put honey on a tree. Check back later to see if the tree is rustling. If I see rustling, it gets my hopes up. There's a good chance there's a rare Pokemon. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. You see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? You can thank Pokemon for that. Okay, I'll do that. So, uh, be sure to come back here before the stream is out to see if it's shaking. I will do that. Right. And is there a honey tree in Floroma Town? It doesn't seem like there is, so I don't. It does not seem like I can get a catch here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and uh, heal up my dudes. Right, and we will press on to the Valley Windworks. Just double check for a honey tree here in town. Okay, correct. There is no honey tree in town. All right. So now we get to fight some more nerds. Let's go do it. So, like, I can put honey on this tree, but I already caught Weasel here, so I can't get any benefit from doing so. It's locked from inside. Would you like to use the works key? Kachunk. All right, let's beat up some nerds. Take their lunch money. What? No way, you have the key? Locking the door is meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. 
There's no time for self-pity. I've got to go alert the commander. All right, so long, nerd. There's the commander. Can I buy some good stuff here? Damn, no good stuff. All right, gonna have to fight this nerd. Let's do it. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. Nah, just kidding, I'm a nerd. Oh, hey, sweet, another delay battle. Here we go. <laughs> Time to get Zubat some free cheap experience. Here we go. Ooh, this one's level 11. Huh, would it be better for me to use Astonish here? Let me see if I can hit it with a with a supersonic. That'll help matters. Okay, that, that doesn't help matters. Try again to get Zubat. It's not like it can hurt you. Oh well. We're gonna be at this for a little while again. You know what? I've decided I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to Staravia early. Let's get through this fight a little bit faster than the last one. <laughs> there you go. I didn't one-shot this one. Two, high, two levels higher than the other one, though, so that kind of makes sense. You know, and even now, I still don't know what makes a Wurmple turn into a Silcoon in one case or a Cascoon in another case. Is it, like, uh, nature-based? Because I honestly don't know. You messed up my job. No, I'm not going to get a bonus. Well, you shouldn't have fought me. I hear they're gonna do something with electricity, I think. All right, dude. All right, this is an optional nerd. Uh, let's go ahead and fight the optional nerd. Collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks. That's our mission. Yeah, okay, cool. Challenged by a nerd. And the nerd has a worm pull. These guys like their bugs, huh? Oh no, my speed! I'm definitely still faster even with two levels of speed down, I think. Yep. <laughs> Alright, now it's tackling me for four damage per tackle. Keep it up, Zubat, you're doing great. More speed! Now this, this time he might actually have my speed low enough that I won't go first. Although I don't know what a worm pull speed is, and I know Zubat's very fast. Okay, now he does get to go first. Okay, it's poison stinging because Zubat is part poison type. Zubat cannot be poisoned, which is quite handy, I must say. It also offers him resistance to that particular attack, meaning it only deals one damage. And uh, worm pulls out of here. Good job, Zubat. Continuing to impress against these extremely weak Pokemon I have. Uh, Glammeow. All right, let's go ahead and sweep in Machop here. I think I'm gonna need him to be a badass to beat up the boss here. <clears throat> All right, if you would go ahead and uh, low sweep this thing, Machop. Oh no, it goes first. Machop took six damage. You big jerk. Get punted. Phone's going off. Must be an email. Machop levels up. That's awesome. Machop wants to learn knock off. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good move. 
It's a dark type move. That's actually pretty good. I like all of my moves here. Uh, let's get rid of focus energy. I don't want to ever have to waste a turn. And it's not really a waste waste. I don't ever want to have to spend a turn using focus energy. Uh, because Machop is in there to just knock people out in one go. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Shut up and put on some more eyeshadow, nerd. You don't have an inkling of what Team Galactic is trying to achieve. No, and I, I don't particularly care. This little girl outside told me to free her dad who was trapped in here, and you guys weren't letting me, so get the fuck out of the way. Of course, they don't trail a grunt like me anything either, but still... Well, now it's just even more pathetic. All right, let's go ahead and top off uh, Machop here, because I I remember the boss in this being kind of tough. Uh, let's fight another uh, optional nerd. Oh, he's not optional. You've already, we already fought him. My Pokemon can't battle anymore. They're gonna take away my Pokemon for messing this one up. Hmm. Shoot, wait. Our commander will smush you. And this redhead must be your commander, huh? I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. All right. You're on. You're challenged by Commander Mars. Starting with a Zubat. Hey, I'm familiar with this Pokemon. See? What level is your Zubat, Mars? 14, okay. You've got a slight edge on me here. I choose not to fight your Zubat with my Zubat. Instead, I'm going to bring in my Luxio. Because she's looking to have some bat for lunch. Thundershock, please, Luxio. Okay, Zubat is now leaving. Zubat went back to Mars. Well, Perugly. Okay, this is a problem. I remember this son of a bitch. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I remember this fucking Perugly. This thing has knocked out so many of my Pokemon in the past. Machop's got good defense, and he's got the type advantage. So we're switching to Machop. Good. It was a fake out turn. Still did 12 damage. Good grief. All right. Revenge. It's a scratch. That hurt a lot. This is going to hurt a little more. Booyah! All right, Machop's my new favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Taking out that stupid Perugly in one turn? You better believe I'm thrilled about that. Way to go, Machop. That's awesome. Level ups for everybody. Well, almost. Not Machop and Staravia, but everybody else, level up. Back to the Zubat. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let Zubat actually finish it off this time. Because that Zubat is now at low health. Because uh, uh, Luxio nearly knocked it out in one go. I was kind of terrified of that Perugly, to be honest. But I brought along my Machop, and that's all it took. Easy, easy win. All right, Zubat, just one more of those Astonishes will get rid of this other Zubat, and you will be the final superior Zubat. Top percentage Zubat. Only Pokemon OGs will understand that reference. And then there's the Luxio and Staravia levels up that I were expecting. So long, Mars. Get the hell out of the Windworks. You and your disgusting cat. It can't be. I lost you... You annoying brat! Give me your lunch money. I messed that one up. 
That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Hey, guy. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Speak of the devil. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Oh, sorry. Uh, I had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. That, of course, is a reference to Drifloon, who only appears as a special Pokemon at dusk in the Valley Windworks area. Uh, so I already kind of ruined that by catching the Floatzel, or the Weasel, and I totally forgot about that. I don't really want a Drifloon anyway, though. So, no great loss, really. Anyway, that's job done. Let's go heal up. And I guess while I'm there, I'll check to see if that honey is paid off, too. I mean, it's not likely, but may as well check, right? What could that hurt? Oh my god, have a little bit more patience. Oh yeah, and Abra's about to level up, or evolve here pretty soon. And then I'll have five Pokemon that can battle in my party. That'll be nice. Instead of just four. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have Abra with teleport too. So I keep missing my opportunity to just teleport back to the last Pokemon Center I was at. And I just run instead. You shaking? You're not shaking. Okay. And since I remember, I'm going to go ahead and do it this time. Hey, Abra, let's go back. I think that saved, like, a few seconds. <laughs> Alright, now we can actually go on to Route 205. And we can do a catch here. Uh, now, there's another honey tree here, but I'm probably not going to go for it. What's up, little youngster dude? I saw the honey on a sweet-smelling tree. Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. Now, I'm just going to do a regular catch here, bro. Oh, you're up. Uh, battle, actually. There's no mountaineer, but I'm dressed to hike. Ha ha ha! Here goes. Alright, uh, Zubat can't fight this guy, I bet. He's probably got a Geodude. Okay, he might have several Geodudes. Yep. Alright, so I don't really have anything that's good against Geodudes except for Machop. So, uh, Machop is gonna go ahead and come out here. It won't be true for long, like, because then I'll have Gyarados going at, like, level 20. But that's going to be a little ways down the road. Okay, so you might actually be faster than Machop now. So I'm going to go ahead and use Revenge. No? Okay. I guess that's... I mean, you are faster, but you just chose to continue to increase your speed for some reason. Oh, well. Get get effed. <laughs> All right, Machop levels up. That's great. Now he, okay, he has a Machop. All right, so we'll switch out to Staravia here. So I thought this guy just had Geodudes. I guess I was wrong. All right, and Wing Attack should take care of this pretty, pretty easily. Don't mess with Staravia, dude. Hey, what's up, Z? Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Uh, I cleared out the Valley Windworks and that terrifying Perugly that Mars has. Uh, Machop knocked it out in one go. Thank you very much for that, Machop. And uh, other than that, we have a uh, honey on a tree back in uh, Floroma Town. Uh, so I've got that to look forward to as well. But yeah, now we're on to Route 205. I haven't done a, I have not done a catch here yet, 
So we will be getting a new friend here. Bidoof! I, I remember, I have a Bidoof. Um, uh, if you would go ahead and uh, kick this Bidoof in the face, Machop, that would be great. Good job, Machop. Machop is kind of wiping everybody out that he fights, which is fine. I'm good with it. Yeah, refreshing battle that was. Give me your lunch money. You can find the same kinds of Pokemon in all sorts of places. There's no law saying a hiker can't go searching wherever they please. That's true. There is no law that says that. I'm just sort of looking up here to see if there's like any other Pokemon I should look for catching other than the stuff that would be in that first patch. It's a long way between Floroma Town and Eterna City. So let's battle. All right. This is uh, Camper Zachary, who has a Geodude. Again, uh, Zubat can't really fight Geodudes. Uh, Zubat, um, well, actually, Zubat does have Absorb, which is quad effective against Geodudes, but I'm worried that they have Rock Throw, and that might just, like, one-hit KO Zubat, because Zubat does, uh, does not have a lot of... Uh, Zubat does not have a lot of defense, so I'm just gonna play it safe, put in Machop, and keep kicking these things in the face. Geodude Sandstorm. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I guess I would didn't have to worry about it. I think Machop, uh, Zubat probably would have knocked out this Geodude before he died, but Again, I want to play it safe. I really don't want to lose somebody like that over overconfidence. And Machop will have little trouble obliterating this Geodude, so no reason to have Zubat out there at risk when I can just put in Machop and take it easy and have nothing bad happen guaranteed. That's sort of the safer bet. Zubat leveled up to 15, though. That's good. Hey, Zubat's actually finally learning a good move. There we go. I, I want to definitely learn Poison Fang. 55 accuracy for Supersonic is just so terrible. You don't want to flip a coin on Confusion. Uh, so let's give Zubat Poison Fang instead. Now Zubat finally has a stab move. It took this long, but Zubat finally has a stab move. Okay, so there is another pa uh, patch up here. I don't know if it has different Pokemon than the other patch. Let me uh, throw a potion at Machop just in case. Potions are cheap. And I've already got 20,000 Poke anyway. All right, we're fighting another hiker. Zubat probably can't do anything against what he's got, but let's find out. Yep, it's an Onyx. Uh, Zubat's not gonna fight the Onyx. Well, Onyxes have terrible attack stats. Let's give Zubat a shot here. Okay, Absorb does about a third of its health. It's got Rock Throw. All right. Never mind. Zubat is now leaving the combat. That's just so boring. It probably would have been fine. Like, it's using Bind now. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Kick it. Down it goes. <laughs> One hit KO. Because Onyx is just a very bad Pokemon. Good job, Machop. Magikarp is now level 14. We're getting a little bit closer to Gyarados World. Having lost his way, the trainer lost the battle too. Okay, if this is new, we have to catch it. Not new. We've already caught a we've already caught a weasel. So, Dupe's claws is still in play. 
Uh, and uh, Zubat can actually heal up off of this thing too, so that's good. Uh, Zubat healed four. Weasel Tackle does six on a crit. Okay. So yeah, uh, Zubat can heal up a little bit off of the Weasel. Got another email. <laughs> But if I'm running into a Bleasel all the way up here, I'm reasonably sure that it's going to have the same uh, uh, encounter table as that area back at the beginning. Zubat wound up not really healing at all, but I did get some experience for it, so that's fine. And hey, it was enough to get Abra to level 16, which I believe is evolution level. Yep, sure is. Time to go get myself a new token. Go ahead and get the uh hmm. which sprite should I use? Also is my Abra male or female? Okay, my Kadabra is male. Uh male and female Kadabras are actually slightly different. Males have longer mustaches. Um uh, which which sprite should I use? I'll use the original diamond and pearl sprite. That makes sense. I think that's what I've been using for the others, but I don't remember for sure. Okay, go to my thumbs folder. And save Kadabra. Then bring up my stream deck thing. Drag in Kadabra. Remove Abra. Good news, everybody. Kadabra can actually fight for himself. <laughs> I will eventually need somebody else who has uh, uh, Shining Pearl slash Brilliant Diamond to trade with so that I can eventually evolve it into Alakazam. Uh, but for now, Kadabra will be fine. And of course, Kadabra actually learns an attack, so that's even better news. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a potion on Zubat in the off chance that I fight something that's got the move Pursuit and knocks him out when I swap him out. Hey, I'm not trained to hold back. Well, who are you? Oh, it's a battle girl. Great. Time to try out Kadabra. Out comes Machop. Let's see, what level's the Machop? Is it high enough level to have... Don't believe it's high enough level to have the knockoff move. So let's go ahead and swap in Kadabra. Yep, indeed, it knows low kick. Still does a lot of damage because Kadabra has very weak defenses. But Kadabra's confusion should be plenty to get rid of the Machop. And indeed, it is. I have a message on Discord. Can't do anything about that. Machop levels up. I concede you're in a different class. Damn right. Repel. Okay, could be useful. Oop, got into a fight I wasn't expecting. I don't know, should I play a little? A picnicker, and what's she got? Has a piplup, okay. Wow, didn't expect to see that. 
but all right. That's actually very cool. Uh, but Zubat's got a type advantage here, so let's do some absorb. That does not do a lot of damage. Okay, that'll lower Zubat's attack. But I'm only using my special attack here anyway, so that's not really a problem. Zubat heals up a little bit more with another Absorb. Not a problem again. It would be a problem if I was using uh, Poison Bite, which I'm gonna do now. Nice, I got the fucking Toxic. All right, Zubat's got this one well in hand. Okay. Yeah, Zubat will have no trouble finishing off this Piplup at this rate. Yeah, keep it up with those charms, dude. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Nothing else, just the charms. Don't attack me or anything. Definitely don't do that. Good job, all right. Hey, a crit, nice. A little bit of extra healing for Zubat. Very good. Ah, the one move I was afraid of. Yeah, that stings a little bit. But Zubat still did enough to knock out this Piplup. Good job, good job, Zubat. Staravia levels up, very nice. Just occurred to me, I really need to swap uh, Monferno back in. Uh, because the next gym is a grass type gym. So, so very closely. Can you hear the cries of Pokemon? I'm listening and that's a no. Uh, let's go Pokemon and then boxes. We're going to put Monferno back in. By the way, I was just given a Jirachi. That was a thing that happened. In case you were wondering what is going on in this game, I still don't know. All right, we'll go ahead and put Monferno in front because I need him to level up a little bit. Zubat's done a good job, but I think Zubat needs a break. What's in here? Think you can get through a turn of forest by yourself? Seem to be tired. Rest a while. Nice! A non-Pokemon Center rest but rest house. Goes so much faster when you do that, too. You and your Pokemon look completely refreshed. Thank you. So it's 8 o'clock, which means it's now nighttime in the game. Hey, are you a trainer? Many poison-type Pokemon make a turn of forest their home. I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or go back? What's out here? Oh, cut trees. All right, so we have to go through Eternal Forest next. So that's something to keep in mind. There's also a pathway over here that I can't get to right now. Uh, it is nighttime, so my encounter tables are going to be different. Super Potion. Nice. You a trainer? You are a trainer. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Well, as a trainer, you will kind of tell me that a little bit with the Pokemon that you have. Okay, so we know Shinx is a fear here, probably. We already have one of those. Ah, darn. Monferno got intimidated. That's fine, I'll just use a special move. Alright, that's half the health. Good job, Monferno. Go ahead and wrap this up with another ember, if you please. Good job. Zubat levels up to 16. Very good. Keep it up, Zubat. A Pachirisu. Don't really have anything for that, so we'll stick with Monferno. Pachirisu is an electric type. One of the 8,000 non-evolving cute electric types they make every game to 
uh, build up off of the popularity of Pikachu that never catch on nearly as well as they hope it did. In fact, they had to do it with a non-electric type for it to really catch on with Mimikyu. Anyway, he knocks it out. Good job, Monferno. Good experience for that thing, though. I'm shocked. How did I lose? Because you're only carrying around level two Pokemon. That That's why you lost. Two Petches. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's also, let's go ahead and plant an ass bear because I picked up one of those. And go ahead and water it. Boy, that, that, that's a long water. And then a couple more Orins. Very good. I should really start equipping some of these. It's not like my Pokemon are carrying anything else right now. Oops, I planted a Pecha instead of more Orins. Oh, well. Now water it. It's a long watering period. All right. Here's an item. Pokeball. Okay, handy. Okay, so I can probably get over to that other area once I get Surf, which I do not yet have. Uh, are there any other trainers to battle? You look like a trainer. Yep, you're a trainer. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. It sounds... Kind of bizarrely aggressive. Aroma Lady Elizabeth. Badoo, okay, makes sense. Unfortunately, Monferno. Well, let's survive one. Although, to be fair, Monferno is a physical attack based uh, fire type, so. His special attacks don't do as much damage. But it's still plenty enough to handle this thing. I would really like him to learn Flame Wheel, because then we could really take advantage of his physical attack. Alright. Good job, Monferno. Fury Swipes is a terrible move, uh, but will it be better than Scratch? 1880. So, at minimum, it's worse than Scratch. Uh... 75% of the time it hits, it's better than Scratch, but it only hits it four out of five times. I'm trying to do some mental math here to see if this is worth it. But honestly, it's just not. It's just not. It's just a bad move. Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? Well, yeah, it did. And then I um, burned it like a candle. Okay. Uh, we have fought all of the trainers. No, need to battle this guy. Battle for a turn. Battle before I go to a turn of forest. Okay, you're just gonna have to go heal your Pokemon though. He has a Ponyta. Okay. I don't really have anything that's good for Ponyta, so let's just take advantage of the fact that I've got the type advantage here and punch it in the face. Because I have non-fire moves. This is why I have the advantage. Is what I should say. Yeah, see, that's what I meant by the type advantage. Like, the fire moves are going to be not very effective against Monferno. But he can just keep using fighting moves and get the stab bonus and all that good stuff. Hey, what's up, Nilla Mouse? Nice to see you. Good to have you aboard this evening. Uh, you've caught me near the end of my first hour, though I do expect I will be back. I'm going to take a break in about five minutes, and then I'll be back again. Um, let's go ahead and take advantage of my Pokemon. You can see uh, one of the things that's happened is that my dear, dear Abra has evolved into Kadabra. Get a load of his glorious mustache. But I can just pop back into Floroma Town and heal up. Because uh, Kadabra is not going to be losing teleport for a little while yet. Oh yeah, I need to change up who's in my party here. Because I no longer have Luxio in the party. Why is Shink still here too? That's a mistake. I'm, that's a mistake I've had going for a little while. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Uh, okay, so let's go over here to my thumbs folder. We uh, 
We've got Monferno in the party now, so let's grab him. And who's the one who's missing here? I've got Machop, I've got Staravia, I've got Kadabra, I've got Magikarp, and then Zubat. Zubat's the other one, so let me grab Zubat. Make Zubat a little bigger. There we go. There we go. Now it's correct again. That feels better. All right. Let's uh let's go check that honey tree before I move back to Route 205 to try and do a new catch. Because maybe the honey tree is active already. I might have to come back like tomorrow, like real time tomorrow to see. You shaking? You do not appear to be shaking. Yeah, sure. Bark is slathered with honey. I've, it's it's honeyed twice now. Maybe that'll make it work faster. I don't know. I'll be sure to check back there again before I end the stream for the evening. Uh, but let's go back over to Route 205 and get us a new buddy. It's nighttime, so the tables are going to be a little bit different. Remember, the dupes clause is in effect. Okay. That is actually a new Pokemon, so we do need to catch it. I have absolutely no interest in using a Pachirisu. I, uh, in my party, at least. Although, I do believe it is a good contest Pokemon for the cute contest. So, I've got to make sure not to kill this thing. Uh, yeah, good. That's the kind of damage I need, Monferno. Another one of those embers will do it. That's all I need from you. Alright, that's low enough. Uh-oh, it got a burn. Now I've got a time limit. <laughs> I got a time limit, otherwise it dies and I don't get a catch here. Uh, do I have any non-Pokeballs here? Because I don't ever I don't ever want to lose out on a catch here. Uh, I have one Premier Ball, I have one Heal Ball, one Dusk Ball. I don't care about it that much to use my one Dusk Ball. Um, yeah, let's just... I mean, it's just... It shouldn't be a problem to catch it with a Pokeball. It shouldn't be. And it wasn't. Hey, sometimes things actually work out. So I didn't really want to catch a Pachirisu, but now I have one. And at least it's good... It's good for the cute contest, and I do intend on doing the contests on this run. Uh, because it's nice to have a battle-esque sort of thing in a Nuzlocke that doesn't cause deaths to your Pokemon. And I'm not planning on coming up with death-like rules for a Nuzlocke contest run. I have very little interest in doing that. <laughs> I'm sure somebody else has come up with the rules, but I'm not going to mess around with it. Uh, I was just seeing if the Drift Bloom was here. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and take a brief break. I need to run to the bathroom. I need to do a couple of other things, but I'll be back within about five minutes or so. So just give me a little bit of time. I'll be right back on the stream. Hopefully everybody's still around and we'll do another hour, maybe two tonight. So give me just a minute, guys. Thanks for watching. YouTube, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.